Say thanks to Titi for me, eh? Good morning, welcome to another episode of Singapore Today We're Not Fishing. I've got Herman with me. Uh, we're going camping. A few of the other guys will be joining us later. They'll be sailing over around the far end of Ubin. We'll be going through Ubin today. That's rain. There's definitely some serious erosion going on here. The last time I was here, there were at least a few trees over here. Sticking out all the water, then a bit of fallen trees over here. Yeah, it's definitely going. This is where they service the bum boats. I'm not sure if all of them are here, but I think most of them. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's gonna give way sooner or later. I can imagine how many fish are here though. So despite arriving at Watercross late and a launching late, I think we are still too early, I think. Holy cow. It's a lot of people. Where's your line, bro? Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. It's okay, bro. I can. I can go around. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Too low. Yeah, I gotta wait a while. We're waiting right now for the tide to turn uh, because it's too low. We can't cross underneath. Jump, prepare for the cross. Pull it, huh? Steady, lah. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Suck it, sir. Probably gonna get stuck in front, but that's all right. At least we're through. We. It feels to me, at least, like. We've made it already. I think these are dog prints, but I'm not sure. Interesting looking roots. We just went through that. It's extremely shallow there. Uh, we had to cut a few of the roots break a few of the roots down just to try it, yeah, you can see he's basically lopsided already it's extremely shallow so that fallen branch is actually a good thing, we can stand on it alright Dante lah Everything is filthy now. I had to stand in the mud as well to pull my kayak out. Okay, you can hear the rain coming. Alama, this fella, I never bring last year. <laughs> Javan and uh, Tony. Hmm. The one last, the deepest. Uh, the pan at the front there, you have to uh, hand pedal. Lah, so. <laughs> Adventure! There we go, that's how much we've been digging into the mud. I think it's, it looks like it's going to rain the whole day. You can't really see here, but it's grey out. It's pretty grey. This raincoat is not as waterproof as it used to be. So now we've reached this, uh, the main crossing, or actually the final crossing. At low tide, you go by here. At high tide, you go by here. You can go by the right as well. Fendi and I went by the right side uh, the first time we came, because we, we totally missed this opening. Look at all those fallen trees. Look at this one, man. There used to be a bank down here. Small bank. We're approaching Northern Beach now. Uh, current is getting pretty strong. It's pretty strong, actually. I'm curious to see if we, if we arrive before the other guys who are sailing.
Yep, yeah, definitely right before the sailors. So this is where we park our kayaks. We usually anchor out here and we uh, walk out or pull our kayaks out so that it goes there and we just let it uh, swing around over there. It's important not to block the main passage though because there's a, there's a guy there who has a shop, sells drinks and stuff. He uh, regularly uses his path to bring his boat in and out. It brings people in and out. So it's important not to uh, obstruct him. got this stove as well it's supposed to be windproof uh, it does use a lot of gas though Let's try it out yeah, pretty windproof to me so her man is getting the inaugural cook-off yeah Whoa. I expected I expected that Bump it up a bit. Ooh. Okay, let's bump it down. Let's bump it down. <laughs> Can I take video of your? Thanks. This is what we call a cam, man. Look at that. He cut down the bamboo to skewer the chicken. So it's all made here. Bushcrafting, man. Nice to see it. Holy cow. Took forever to boil. Still not boiling actually, but oh well. Today I'm having this. Testing it out. Alfredo with garlics and herbs. Just for kicks, putting this in as well. So maybe that's why it took so long to boil. Running out of gas. Now that's what I call a boil. So now comes the tea. Sugar. Finally the sailors have arrived. Could they be any slower? Any slower at all? <laughs> That's a massive craft. My goodness, that thing is massive. We had one extra person, we don't know who it was. Now we have another again, so a total of uh, six plus Herman and me, so it's eight. Oma bought uh, four kilos of chicken and three kilos of lamb. So even with eight people, might be a bit of a stretch. Might be, might be. This is my ATBT kayak. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. My goodness, look at that one. Massive. No favor, this fellow. No, no. I need lighting, right? Hmm? <laughs> See how much steam is coming out of this piece of wood? That's how wet it is. On the outside at least. But inside it's quite dry. <laughs> 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 
How many torchlights shining on this thing one day? And one here. <laughs> Muka masih mau step. Buluk-buluk. Eh, sunglasses. There was supposed to be two extra people. There are three now. Brings it up to 11. Um, I guess it's a good thing. Because then we have more people to finish the 48 eggs that some of the guys brought. Oh. Brought mountain. Ah. Ah, Those are from my chair last night. All these little holes from my chair. It's a nice chair, but it does tend to dig itself into the sand. You want to compare lah, see? <laughs> now you're telling his son, this one so big, uh, cannot, is it? Uh, is it? He point. Oh, see, so far away the front, cannot lah. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be as fast as the original MSR one. I think it's because there are no holes at the side. Ooh, the hot. No holes at the side. But it's good that it doesn't need a extra windproof uh, windshield. But it's still quite big compared to the other one. Out of uh, Mama Beach, exactly at 12 o'clock actually at Glen. And the guys there are still uh, getting ready to set off. Those are the sails. I've got money with me. We'll be heading back into the mangrove trail. Uh, I think call it that. With the current from the back, we're barely paddling. We're hitting about 6 kilometers per hour already. stuck yesterday and this is where we got stuck as well everywhere actually all around here 